cup? <laughs> Isn't that what Neeb said too when he switched from Terran? He's just like, yeah, you know? Why Although, not? you know what? No, I made, at the last Kings of the North, I made Ooh. Neeb play Terran. I uh, had him take over a game from Semper. He, uh -huh. Semper was like in the middle of a game. I was like, Neeb, take over. <laughs> and he was on the grid hockey setup, and it was like, oh my god. I can't he, do this. He, he almost did it. He's actually still got it. Wow. Yeah. Well, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bottom right corner, representing Team Expert, it's Scarlet! And in the top left-hand corner of the map, we have the red Terran player representing Team Elevate. Give it up for Masa! Two of Canada's finest going up against each other. Mm -hmm. Epic rivalry, starting it off here on Frozen Temple with a very, very cheeky opener. But Ooh. I don't even know if it's that cheeky because we were talking about this a little mm -hmm. bit earlier and the fact that three racks is so common that, you know, exactly. sometimes I think Violet did it too. Getting mm -hmm. that pool first, don't want to get caught off guard by a bunch of Reapers in your base. And hey, Ooh. hey, hey. It's going to pay off because that's exactly what Masa's up to. Wouldn't be surprised to see that third barracks coming on down. Uh, generally don't see the two racks coming out in TVZ. So. No, we saw him do it in TVT, but mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily in uh, TVZ. Yeah. So there you go, Fear Dragon. The third one on the way. And Scarlet should be more than prepared, or at least has the opportunity and the uh, build order mm -hmm. where she's at a much better uh, much better advantage. You know, if you ask a Terran player, they would say Scarlet is unbelievably prepared going for the spawning pool first. If you ask a Zerg player, they'll say, well, it doesn't matter what I do to prepare. It's three racks Reaper. Mm. Yep, um, exactly. But, of course, this is one of the best things that you can do. And oftentimes, a lot of players, including you, Thermal, who I think is very well known for having an amazingly good three racks Reaper play, mm -hmm. is said that, you know what, you want to go for that Roach Warren nice and early on. Now, when is Scarlet actually going to catch a wind of this? Because she hasn't gone for any scouting information, mm -mm. and neither has Maru yeah. or Masa. Uh-huh, so, I mean, it's one of those things where you can either preemptively put down the Roach Warren and then mm -hmm. do an aggressive Roach play just as mm -hmm. the game plan, right? Mm -hmm. But... Right now, uh, this... Mm. Oh, that's so oh, sick. That is entirely based on timings and just knowing your mm -hmm. timings of exactly when that Reaper is going to be passing by. Because there wasn't an overlord no, yeah, that yeah. caught wind of, you know, that cliff and where the Reaper was going. That was actually really well executed. Yep. And now the first Reaper does get in here. Nothing really too out of the ordinary for Scarlet. Oh. Oh, oh, and at the oh. same time, Scarlet actually gets the Zergans into the main base. The supply depot, I think, was maybe down. And yep. She's actually already causing a bit of damage. Might be able to even kill off a worker. And, of course, gets confirmation of the barracks. And another thing about this is that uh, Masa needs to be microing on the other side. Yeah. So all this time that's hap or passing by is time that the Reaper is not pressuring the Queens and taking HP off of that. Exactly, and even though, you know, a drone even gets oh. a little bit held, oh, Creep Tumor getting killed off, that's actually a really nice win, but yeah, Scarlet had a lot more time to get up that Roach Warren. She doesn't have to worry about defending for quite as long, because yep. she had this time where, as you were saying, Queens, they still have their health alive. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things where eventually, you know, they start to really whittle away, the Reaper is on the Queens, and now is uh, gonna be trying, but that is three Queens. Oh, oh. really nice KDA charges on those Queens. Masa takes down one of them, but he doesn't lose his Reaper. Now he loses one. Scarlet's so smartly targeting the weakened ones, but Masa does move it back in time. Another queen goes down, and this is starting to get a bit dicey here. Scarlet needs to hold on for about 10 to 15 more seconds. The roaches are about to pop out, but the drones are still mining in the natural expansion. Oh. Nowhere to run, nowhere nope. to hide. The Reapers of Masa are on top of Scarlet's drones. Oh, going to be able to take out four in total just so far. Now look at all of these Reapers. The queen gets taken out immediately. Oh. Almost. No, she's going to survive. And now the roaches are out. Okay, Reapers do manage to make it back out, even though they are on very low in health. They're going to start regenerating that help with the Roaches. have something to say about that. And it's actually very important when you're defending this as a Zerg player. You want to get out those Ravagers. And because of those Ravagers, if you target fire down the Reapers, you have Just an like extra that. range. Yep. Exactly. Really nicely done by Scarlet. She realizes this is very, very uh, dire situation if she doesn't uh, at least take this down before it gets way too out of hand. You know, uh, the Reaper count is very scary and three Reapers are still being produced at a time. Yeah, three Reapers still being produced at a time, but a command center is on the way behind this for Masa as the Reapers are more of a gas investment. You do get 
quite a few minerals that start to accumulate, but factory also going down. Masa is thinking about the transition, but he still wants to keep these Reapers alive, because if he doesn't, Scarlet has a bunch of Roaches and Ravagers, yeah. and the first thing she's gonna do is start poking at the front. Oh yeah, I mean, that's basically what you do. Anytime you're able to take out those Reapers, you just push across the map, and since they've been making Reapers so much, mm -hmm. they can't actually deal with the giant Roach Ravager push. Usually, it makes you lift up into the main. Sometimes you die outright, but Masa, very, very smartly, and remember, we're playing here local, so mm -hmm. there's no real latency issues that he has yeah. to deal with. Very, very, oh, mm -hmm. gonna lose another one of those Reapers, Scarlet. I think has done a very good job here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's actually managed to sneak in drones every so often, actually getting up to a pretty decent worker count. These Reapers, though, staying alive are going to be very, very valuable because as soon as Scarlet is out of position, Masa can jump on the opportunity, maybe move into the main base. And that is the scary thing about Frozen Temple is that uh -huh. these Reapers aren't just units that are like, okay, you know, on some maps, yeah. there's one edge, there's one little cliff you can jump into the main base through. But on this map, it's so difficult to cover every single edge that even if your opponent accumulates this mass of roaches and ravagers, you will eventually will be able to find some opportunity to make their way in. Yeah, exactly. And I think... Uh... Masa's keeping a tap on the Votes and Ravages. Ooh. Wow, another one, two go down. Scarlet, you able to pick off some of those Reapers, making sure that they never get to that big number, you know? I don't think we're gonna see any more, but this amount of Reapers can still sneak in, like you said, and also deny this third base. Uh, he's going for it. Look Ooh, at that. Reaper core oh charges. my gosh. Ooh. Scarlet does not want to dance with death over there and does end up canceling the hatchery, keeping it alive for a little bit longer. But Siege Shanks are starting to come out for Masa. Even if there is a push out now from Scarlet, it's going to be very difficult to get much damage done. Mm -hmm. You know, this has been a very, very good uh, hold out of Scarlet. Mm -hmm. But remember, Masa, he's been expanding at home. He's already starting Stim. And I think that the start point is going to be next, uh, mm -hmm. depending on if he decides to go for the uh, upgrades first. Oh, yeah, he does have the start point. So here comes the medevac. Yeah, Medivac coming on out and gonna try and get some damage done. Gonna be able to pick away at some of these Ravagers potentially with every sail often. Firing off those shots. Stam is gonna be finishing up pretty soon as well. But Masa is gonna be getting ready to put on the aggression. And do we actually have Lair Tech done right now for Scarlet? Uh, I don't believe so. She puts on the double Evos and now she's uh, getting her upgrades. And then we should be able to see the Lair come up afterwards. But uh, yeah, this is actually really an unorthodox kind of push, right? A lot of Reapers here mixed in with the Siege Tank. I really like that, you know, using this to pressure the third while he takes the third of his own. Scarlet has not been able to get offensive at all. No, Lair Tech finally signing up for Scarlet, but again, the third expansion is going to be finishing up with pretty much half health, and that Sea Shank is still whittling it's still, away. Yeah. Slowly but surely, Maru is making more and more progress. The Reaper is still alive to this day. <laughs> I right can't now, believe they're still mates. alive. Wow, and this like third... 88 by now. <laughs> 88. 88, 88. <laughs> So this is incredible, oh. though. Masa going to be able to... Oh, no, he's actually going to lose those Reapers now. And the tank is still alive. I feel like this tank is just such a crucial part of this whole push. Oh, it is so important. A second tank also joining in. Again, it just whittles away at those roaches, those ravagers. It yep. has such a hard time putting up with that. But the hatchery uh -oh. is getting so low on health. Scarlet uh -oh. has to go now. She wants to save that. Oh, my gosh. She's going in now. She can get it. No, no transfusers ready no there. Transfusers. So here they go. They're going to try to get the corrosive biosphere dragon. But pushes the siege tank back. Scarlet is holding on to the hatchery oh. as Maru is starting to lose ground. Yep, and he keeps on pushing it back with the siege tanks. Good micro. Never allowing the queen oh. to target fire those Metavacs. Oh. One of the Seashanks goes down, and somehow Masa does get out of there with one Seashank. He has a hope, he has a dream, he knows that that hatchery is low enough. Scarlet uses her energy for inject. Is she going to have another transfuse she or something? She needs to transfuse that hatchery. She has to transfuse her, it. Hero tank. Where are the queens? He's the queens going need to in. focus it down. The oh, hatchery is getting Oh my stuck. gosh. Transfuse comes out at the last second, but the hatchery is still very, very low in health. It's going to be a target for later, and that siege tank is out for blood. Yes, yeah, Scarlet cannot lose that third either, you know, because oh Masa is mining here from the third. This is a lot of pressure that he's putting on, but uh, yeah, losing that third base would just spell disaster for Scarlet. Oh um, my god, Tempo, we had an infestation pit on the way right now. Scarlet sitting on three bases, one like, base that's almost dead. She's like, you know what? It's time to transition out into the late game. I'm ready <laughs> for the next stage. Yeah, and uh, you know what? You kind of have to, right? Mm -hmm. You can't get stuck in this kind of defense because Masa, he's not just doing some two base all in. He's on the third base. He's getting upgrades. His armory is nearly complete, and he knows that if he takes out that third base, it would spell defeat for Scarlet. So, uh... I think uh, the fact mm. that he's kept Scarlet on her side of the map so much mm -hmm. is going to prevent this fourth base from going up even as well. Oh, man. And, you know, it's so funny because, the, ironically enough, 
killing off or getting that Hatrick so low on health has actually prevented Scarlet from getting much grief threat going. Yes, yeah. she's so busy saving up the energy for transfers the Queen's actually absorbing a lot of those siege tank shots. And even though the Marines are charging on in, they're stimming on forward, it seems like Scarlet has a little bit too much. She cleans up the entire push. The okay. siege tanks are just evacuating and Scarlet holds like it was nothing. Really, yeah, it does. And this is going to allow her to get that fourth base, at least uh, try to take it. Already the high fear dragon, right? And you know what? She's adding oh. a spire at the same time. And an infester. She's playing it a little bit on the safe side. Yeah, adding the infestors will allow her to get that sick combo with the infest, or rather the uh, fungal growth with the corrosive bile. Now, I'm wondering here, fear dragon, when you add the spire right at the time of the hive, does she go right into broodlords, or is she just going to go the safer route and just say, hey, let's get mm. some ultras out and uh, hope that the tank count so she's been kind of keeping it in check it's not too much you know if we didn't see this broke ravager play out of scarlet it was a uh, fourth expansion most likely gonna get canceled there it oh is. this is such a big deal you know mm -hmm. she can she needs the fourth base like yeah. simple and plain you go to hive you need that fourth base yeah but oh Whoa! oh catches one of them but there are no ravagers close enough by so scarlet just saying you know what just want to let you know I got your number. Mark. Exactly, right? It's more so like, like yo. Hey, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a warning fungal. That's a warning fungal. Mm -hmm. Just tap out now. I'll yeah, be merciful. I swear, you know? Uh, I'll make it easy on you, so. Mm. Honestly, though, Masa has not been making it easy on Scarlet to keep uh, this real. It's just yeah. the fact that this is the Masa that we know, always putting pressure on, but his macro behind it has been really, really good. Yeah, so interesting. You actually ended up calling a tempo when you have the Creative Spire on the way. And wow. You know Scarlet is a very big believer that it's the big debate of Europeans. Oh, wow. nice target fire on that meta bag. That's one of the siege tanks. But she's a big believer that, you know what, in the European versus Korean debate of whether the European Terrans are just not good enough or the Korean Zergs just aren't good enough. Yep. You have that big debate on, you know, Ravager Roach versus Mutaling Blade. Mutaling, yeah. She stands on the Korean side firmly, and she believes Broodler transitions are actually quite strong in the matchup. Yeah, you know, something that Snoot used to do a lot too. Mm -hmm. Loving to go for that. And this is such a good scout here from Masa. Oh. Not only going to be able to harass with the Liberator, but he sees what's going on. So, you know, he's making three Marauders at a time, expecting mm. there to be an Ultralist uh, transition. But seeing that Great Aspire means that, okay, maybe I can kind of chill a little bit yeah. on the Marauders, start to get that other Starport up in order to deal with these uh, Corruptors. Oh, but here we go. Masa finds a really nice spot, and the fourth expansion does finish up. Scarlet can no longer cancel it. And is she going to try and save it? Got some fungal growths down, but it does seem like that hatchery is most likely oh. going to fall. Yeah, and it goes Ooh. down. Masa going to be able to take another one of those fourth bases out, limiting the gas income from Scarlet in order to try oh. to go for these Broodlords. You at the north side, the at Masa's natural expansion, or third expansion, there is a Roach counterattack, though, trying to get some damage on, but no, Masa already has Eunice prepared over there. Wow, not even there with the bunker, I don't think. He just had the Eunice in position, expecting there to be some kind of a run by, and he deals with it really easily. Now, he is down in supply, but he is setting up a lot better uh, for his fourth phase while denying the voice base of Scarlet at the same time. Yeah, it's so it's so confusing because you look at this and you say Scarlet is on these Broodlord tech, she's on this high tech transition area, but she's never really gotten a fourth expansion up in mining. She really doesn't have the economy to support this for the longevity. Oh, at this point, I would almost even start to take double expansions, right? Mm -hmm. Like, just go ahead and take it on other sides of the map. Make yeah. Masa not only be oh. attacking here. The Broodlords are done here, Fair Dragon. Oh, Fungal Growth going down, but wow. she can't capitalize on it, it looks like. Oh, the Corrosive Bots are going to go down on the bio. They do take out a bit of them, but the Broodlords, I don't think there's really any answer for them just yet. The Broodlords are actually doing quite a bit right now because there is no answer to them. And even though it looks like Masa is going to be able to clean up on the ground, I don't know if he can actually handle these Broodlords. And the Infestors are out of energy. The Ravagers are starting to fall back. And Scarlet is going to have to retreat. The fourth expansion once again get, attempt to get denied. Oh, Masa is just going to go and target down the Infestors. But now Masa, he realizes, yeah, I actually can't deal with this. Uh, going to have to rethink his approach here. Start to get a few things that can shoot up. He's getting Vikings now. His plus three is about halfway done. And uh, I think he's going to start to slow down on the siege tank production because it's really not going to help him as much. I think this is one of those points in the game where you have to say, you know what, I know Masa loves to put on aggression, mm -hmm. but there's a point where you have to start saying, you know what, my opponent has too scary of an army. I need to be very careful about how much I commit to this aggression right now because I need to get at my own answer to this and I cannot give away too much of my army supply because yeah. that's the scary thing my opponent has. She has a really scary army and she does not have an economy. But look at this guy, Masa, you know, <laughs> denying the fourth base of Scarlet and then says, you know what, I'm going to add an orbital command to my fourth base because I feel oh that damn God. good about life right now. 
He's feeling good, you know. Uh, he is ahead in supply. Doesn't have the answer to Brutal just yet, but he is starting to add on the Viking count. Mm -hmm. So once he gets a good enough amount of them, keeping Scarlet off of the fourth base means that all he needs to do is continue to trade, even if it's inefficiently, and eventually Scarlet is going to run out of steam. I mean, realistically, Scarlet does not even have much of an answer to even a small number of those Vikings, unless her Ravagers manage to land some good Corrosive Files, or she gets some good Fungal Growths mm -hmm. down on them to combo them. Yep. She doesn't exactly have that much money to even make many Corruptors. She has four Corruptors on the way, but this Viking count can already take on that number. Yeah, I was going to say now, yep. Even getting plus one to ship weapons, it seems like the Brood Lord, uh, it's almost like the Brood Lord all in when you think mm -hmm. about it, because once it gets scouted, if you don't have enough uh, economy to even switch into Ultras or something else to blindside and make the Vikings useless, they, uh, they're just not going to really survive this next step here, mm -hmm. which is what uh, he was hoping to at least secure her fourth with. Oh, the fourth expansion already under siege. Oh, good well, Fungal Growth catching a lot of the Vikings right now, but the Ravagers are not there to follow up. Oh, she needed those Ravagers there just to take out those Vikings. Even taking out four, that would be oh. great. Because then the Queens can continue to transfuse. Oh, not going to oh, get one. That's a good Fungal Growth. Going to be oh, able to lock out every single one of the Vikings. All God. of them are going to end up falling. And Scarlet is managing the hole, but she loses her fourth expansion in the process. Again, she's losing it, but now she's actually getting some really dominating trades here. Although the Queens are starting to fall. The Vikings dying is such a big deal. It's just the fact that Masa does have the fourth, and he's setting up to take a fifth base at the same time. Oh, Scarlet needs to keep those Corruptors alive, but she's actually and sacrificing some of them, going after the Medivacs. Those are so important. Pause asked for right Ooh. now. All right. Very tense situation. Definitely. So, wow. Really, really cool game so far. This is game number one, by the way. So mm -hmm. just let that sink in a little bit. <laughs> game one of the winner's finals. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like, you know what, every single map is probably going to be like, it's going to be Frozen Temple, it's going to be Frost, it's mm -hmm. going to be King Sejong Station. Yeah. Then we're just going to go back to like some other winter theme map that wasn't even in the map pool. <laughs> yeah. Like Belshire Beach Toronto, Snow Edition. Toronto Beach Snow Edition. Yeah. That'd be nice. So, all right. So Scarlet right. seems like she's ready to go. We're right. back into it. Okay. Well, the investors still have some energy building up, but I'm not sure if it's enough for any fungal growth. Scarlet is still holding on by the skin of her teeth, and she's re-establishing that fourth expansion for probably the sixth or seventh time at this point. Yeah, at this point, you just want to start taking them in two oh. different locations, right? Look at like, all the spine crawlers. Wow. Uh, not enough. I was going to say, Masa didn't want to look at them. He said, no, nah, let's not look at them. I'm actually looking after your hive tech right now. Oh, Scarlet. I'm looking at oh. that great spy. Oh. It's looking kind of juicy today. Going to be denying that plus one flyer attack upgrade as well, and he's going to be able to get it. No more Brutalos can be made for a uh -oh. while. Oh, and now. Now Masa taking the fifth base. He is continuing to pressure this base that Scarlet really likes this. And as uh, someone who is so adamant on being the queen of the north, she likes the south base a lot. She really does like that south base. And I mean, I can kind of understand why the other bases that she could try to take, there's no way you can defend it. It's so this hard to taste. Tank. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, good fumble, oh, but is there a follow-up? This hatchery is going to get killed off, not oh. even canceled. Can Scarlet even afford to replace a hatchery that gets killed off at this point? Not at this point at all. It's just uh, really her holding on for dear life while Masa, he's just rolling in the dough, throwing it at Scarlet, saying, mm -hmm. catch. But yeah. the guess what, Fair Dragon, we're in Canada, and they're toonies and loonies, and it hurts when you get coins <laughs> thrown at you, okay? It's oh a lesson well learned in tempo. Exactly. Both counterattack though. Scarlet is going to do whatever she can, but I mean, killing off all these SCVs is great, but remember tempo. Masa made orbitals for his extra expansions. Yes. He didn't even make a plant any fortress. He has mules out the wazoo. Exactly. And the funny part about it is like he's so rich because of that that he can afford to lose those. Uh, yeah, the SCVs, it's actually okay. He's so rich he can afford to just make Thors because Thors are really cool units. Yeah, they're cool. It's like Transformers, you know? Sick. Uh, looks like this may end up being one of the final holds over here for Scarlet and the fourth expansion gets killed off. Corruptors are doing their best to just try to get all the Vikings, but there's no brood lords and she can't make any brood lords. Uh, uh, the Corruptors are just like, yo, man, like they're pressing a button and nothing's happening. Just like wondering why it's not working. And now it looks like Maza is gonna push in with the rest of that 3 3 bio. So many workers are going down for him, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Maza, GG. Maza takes game number.